Hey guys, I have a pretty bad announcement to make. I'm officially creatively bankrupt. <laughs> It's kind of been like this for a while. After I stopped Rail at Season 3, I've been, like, completely out of ideas for videos to make that aren't just logo remakes and never crap. I can't get much of the tutorials. Every time I try to review a movie, I always feel like I'm not saying enough about it. I tried gaming again, but I don't think little kids would be interested in that. What else am I supposed to do? Man, I'm so out of ideas. I'm feeling plastered. Wait. Plastered? Oh my god, I got an idea. Where do I even start? The act of plastering is when a company takes older media and sticks their newer logos over the old ones. While most people don't care about this, the logo community hates it when it happens. Logo plastering is literally what's responsible for a wildest goose chase in this community, the TAT Communications logo, which has a fanfare that sounds like this. So today, I'm gonna walk you through some of the most famous cases of logo plastering. And you already know what I'm gonna start with. This logo. This freaking logo has been dubbed the Bars of Boredom for a reason. It seems like you can't escape from it, bro. Everywhere you go, you're gonna see him. And you're gonna have that thing, that freaking melody stuck in your head. When you go to sleep at night, you're gonna be hearing it all night. Da, 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 da. But you know, we can't talk about the Sony Pictures television logo without talking about the Mad About You plaster. At the end of season two, episode 10, entitled It's a Wrap, Paul over here is speaking with the producer Lou, arguing that he wants his video to end with a blank screen closing credits. However, he caves in and then says the logos that show up next. Show the guy on the phone, all right? Then you have the sound of the racetrack, the thing with the hand, and then the stupid horse with the wings. <laughs> That'll work. This. This isn't too bad of a gag. However, goddamn Sony had to come in, get their grummy fingers all over it, and this is what we have now. Show the guy on the phone. All right, then you have the sound of the racetrack, the thing with the hands. <laughs> That'll work. Fucking ruined. If I had to change this gag, I'd say, show the guy on the phone. Then you have the sound of the racetrack, the thing with the hand, and the boring bars that would ruin this gag. <laughs> That'll work. This one, thankfully, isn't nearly as prevalent as the Sony one, but it's still kind of boring. I mean, like, the full logo? Awesome! The fanfare is so cool. But I hate the shortened one, it's just so... Like... Ugh. Thankfully, this logo has been retired and we won't be seeing it anymore. So they took the 1984 MGM logo, and they sharpened it for some weird reason, and they stuck their byline under there in Times New Roman. What? Why? Why? Yeah, this logo just loves to be plastered everywhere. And the worst part is, I'm watching It's a Mad Mad World from the Criterion Collection, and they fucking cropped it to the CinemaScope aspect right here! Oh man, I, I, I could have sworn there were more uh, logos that were plasterable than this. Uh, I guess I'm cutting this video short. 